Well, let's get back to here and now's top story tonight. Yesterday, nobody knew her. Tonight, she's in one of the province's top jobs. The new Minister of Public Safety and the Attorney General may never have been elected, but Judy Manning is very well connected politically. Here and now's Chris O'Neill Yates met with Manning in her first day on the job, and she joins us live. Well, Chris, uh, who is Judy Manning? Well, we know that uh, Judy Manning's roots in her back in her uh, area of St. Bride's run very deep. Her uncle is Senator Fabian Manning. But uh, Judy Manning is also the partner of a longtime conservative organizer and fundraiser. I'm a little surprised that uh, that that has come up. Manning has another well-known connection to the PC party. I'm an unmarried lady and mm -hmm. uh, my partner is Leo Power. Leo Power has been at every convention since the late 70s. Power has never sought office, but he's well known in the party. He was a fundraiser for Paul Davis in his bid to lead the party. Judy Manning says she was picked for the job, not because of her connections, but because the Premier thought she'd be the best person for the job. And I was a staunch, I was a staunch mm -hmm. supporter of Paul Davis's throughout his campaign. And that's what brings me here, um, taking what I would submit is um, a significant pay cut. Manning says she knows she's got a lot to learn in her new portfolio. As for her experience, she says she's appeared at trial division and appeared before the Court of Appeal. It's my participation, I would say it's on par with any litigator of my vintage in, in the province, uh, out, in, outside of the criminal sphere, because of course in criminal you do get a lot more exposure. The opposition has been critical of having an unelected minister who won't be in the House to answer questions. Manning says she'll be sitting in the gallery and available to anyone who has questions. After that, I will be making myself available um, to the uh, media. I will participate in, in any scrums that are, um, you know, invited, uh, that I'm invited to participate in by the media. Now, Manning said she's taking a substantial pay cut to serve the people of the province. She says it's about half of what she'd make as a lawyer with her experience. She will be paid as a minister, remember, and not as an MHA. Manning reiterated today she will not seek a seat in any of those three by-elections that are coming up soon, but will wait until her home seat of Placentia St. Mary's becomes available. Reporting live for Here and Now, I'm Chris O'Neill Yates in St. John's. If Judy Manning does run in the district of Placentia St. Mary's in the next provincial election, as Chris just told us, she'll be up against Sherry Gambin Walsh. That's who won the Liberal nomination for the area last night. The seat is currently held by Felix Collins.